is that gonna help now, Link? Oh, it's called a double! It's called a double! <laughs> Actually, this is a pretty good one, too. That's a pretty good one. Ouch! Look at that! Now turn around, let's see Dave doing his thing. Oh, you got baby. Yeah, mine's bigger. Oh, yeah. Just, just two <laughs> Hunter Fish, Andy Bus, Dave Brown are teaming up to beat the pants off of <laughs> Jimmy James Wheeler and Terry Shep. Got a little social distancing little event going on out here. We're going to keep our distance. But what do you say? Keep our best five fish? I'd say that'd work. Kind of like a tournament, but without a tournament. With social distancing, that's right. Let's see who has the best five fish at 2 o'clock. Ain't too shabby, is it? Yeah, decent one. Right Good yeah. <laughs> Big, long. Look at there. The chatterbug. But look, he's blind. <laughs> he's a blind, skinny, ugly guy. <laughs> hey! This is what you're after. Right here. Hey, let's do a fish count. How many you got in the live well? Three. You liar. <laughs> you liar. Bustin' Brown are up one zip. And look at him encroaching on our space. <laughs> it might be a protest. Wrong size, right species. But that's the second fish I caught with his monkey punch. This thing looks really cool underwater. Just floats just like that. Ain't the side you want to leave, though. Ain't the side you want to leave. Yeah, that's right, baby. Baby. Wow. Couldn't tell what it was when it first hit it into it. Well, after an hour and a half, it's it's a real battle of the Titans. Uh, kind of, I'm saying very sarcastically. Wheeler and Shotmer have got us down right now. Three keepers to one. But things are just warming up. The one fish we've caught was on that uh, chatterbug. Right here, big shock, I know. That had come off that out in front of some lily pads. And they've got three. So... But we still got, we're going for four, six hours. We got four and a half hours yet. Dave, question is, are we going to have 22 or 25 pounds for us over? I think we'll be about that 24, 25 range. 24, 25 pound range. Here it comes. Oh. Oh. It might be a keeper. Keep I think we got a keeper. We got him on the A-rig. A little Nessie swim baits. All right, now we're just using the side imaging and live scope to find where the fish are. We're, we're not catching the right size, but we have at least found some fish. We're almost at the halfway point, three hours in. We got two keepers, but now we're catching at least a few small ones. Well, hopefully. Two, I got a double. Two big ones. One. Don't walk them off though. Oh. <laughs> That's how you do it. Can you believe there was a second one on there though and it come off? Son of a gun! There you go, little Nessie baits. There we go. Oh boy, and he ain't that white one. There's number four. Not very, but he might be number five for us. Come here, okay, man. Thank you. Yeah, we got number five in the boat. Is there anything more exciting than an Alabama rig bite? Woo! Let's see. I'm gonna say he feels a little bit better. I think we're gonna call a fish out there. <laughs> oh, Jimmy and Terry, I think you be in trouble. B squared, Brown and Bus coming at you. Ah, again. Not the size of, oh, now look at it. The dumbest, biggest and dumbest thing I'll catch all day. 
Can you help a brother out, Dave? Let's see what you got here. There she is. Yeah. Oh, shoot. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Look at that thing, Dave. Bow. I finally got one. Ooh. Nice one. Probably two and a half, two and three quarter. Not a bad upgrade. Yeah. Not bad at all. From that to this. Uh-huh. Good. He's coming. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, buddy. Good one. Yeah. Look how I got it. <laughs> it's another A rig fish. I don't think it's any, I can't, I don't think it's gonna help us. Way back there, so we put the spot lock to face into the wind, but our fish are back behind us, so it's the beauty of the spot lock. Yeah, he's a keeper, I think, but he's not gonna help our, our limit. But look, these fish, look how deep they're getting the bait. Dave just had one do the same thing, and so we are clearly throwing the right thing. Here we are, mid-April, not even mid-April, Easter weekend. World's on shutdown, not in our state. And we are just catching bass on an Alabama rig. We came here thinking we would catch a whole bunch on chatterbaits and rattle traps beating the banks, but we've had a pretty nasty cold front come through uh, 72 hours ago. And it's cooled down all the lake temperature to the lake water. And we believe, we're, well, we're convinced now, we know it. Those fish were probably up shallow eating a couple days ago. But now they've, because of that cold front come through, they've gone out to the outside edge. All these fish are on the outside edge. Got a fairly steep break, break line. It doesn't go but for two to, to eight, ten foot pretty fast. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we're just, once we figured out to do that, we've been catching fish. Wheeler and Shopmer be in big trouble. That one feels pretty good. Come on. Uh. Uh. Again, look how deep it is. Every bait that we use will be in the description of this video, including links, and there's a promo code to these leadhead jigs that we're, uh, that we're using on the Alabama rigs. Save yourself a buck or two. Let's do it, Dave. But that's a massive call. <laughs> oh, baby, yeah! You got hit. What'd you get hit three times before we three finally? Three times before I finally got him to eat. Yeah, the bite swinging. Yeah, the, the bite seems to be changing a little bit. See how fat they are. These fish are Definitely eating good. Call too. Yeah. They're 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 changing their bite. Earlier we saw us, they were eating, swallowing that bait, and now not so much. They seem to be swiping at it. So, well, Wheeler and Shopmer, I think, are in trouble. We're at the halfway. No, we have about two hours, and fifteen minutes to go. They have a five fish limit, so do we. Just talk to them, but it seems like they're kind of scratching their head because they're getting one here or there. Uh, Dave and I think we are really starting to dial in here with this umbrella rig, and I think them boys will be in trouble. Get in the boat. Oh, three and yeah, a half. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Wheeler and Shopmer. We got a big one. We got a big one. Oh, we got choked. <laughs> 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 Gary, Gary, Frank can't do no better than that. <laughs> Finally got that big bite. Finally got that big bite. Finally got that big bite. <laughs> it's all about the A rig today. So what happened on that big fish is that got the spot lock going and it turned towards the bank and uh, the, the live scope then showed some fish over there. It looked like a little school of maybe some bait fish whatever. So I, I slung my A-rig over at it and about halfway back to the boat, that sucker just ate it. And what a fun day of spring fish. <laughs> Holy cow, dude. <laughs> What a freaking day. He's not bad. He's bad. He's just... I love fishing. I love it. A guy like this isn't going to help us today. Man, what fun. Dave just had a hit. He hit it twice. Dave's back there swinging and missing. Like we're at this point where we're just kind of drifting along the windy side of the lake. Throwing A rigs, and every time we drift, 30, 40 feet. <laughs> Look at that, right there. Yeah, that 
Thank you, Dave. Every time we drift 30, 40 feet, we stop, put the spot lock on, throw the motor, and we catch two or three. And then we're off to the next one. Well, Dave, that was one fun day. Uh, we're about to weigh in our fish against Team Sh uh, Shopmer and Wheeler, uh, and they're actually right next to us, <laughs> some ugly guys here. But we got five really good fish, and let me tell you, I'm sure he agrees with me. The first two and a half, three hours is they stunk. Yeah, it was a real struggle to even get a bite. Like you said, we yeah. maybe went, what, three hours with yeah, three think, bites? Yeah, something like that. I think you're right. Three hours, three bites. We got one early on on Chatterbug that was a decent keeper. We ended up getting rid of him. And, and then we figured some things out. What we figured out is that using the side imaging, combination of that and the live scope, that the fish were actually on the outside edge. Being April 11th, uh, we expected to be beating the bank pre-spawn deal with chatterbaits and uh, rattle traps. And man, we just gonna get bit doing that. I understand Terry and uh, Jim got some fish doing that. Is that right, boys? Yeah, we we did our we did our part. Yeah, yeah did your part. So you. anyway, once we realized those fish were there, we picked up the A rig, and oh mama, <laughs> it turned good. <laughs> Holy cow, do we have a great time? Anyway, the only things left to do, Dave, is to weigh up these things and see if they're gonna. Be the losers or the losers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Big fish for Shotmer and Wheeler. 552. 5.52. All right, five fish, five fish limit. Coming in at 1610. 16.10. 16.10. Outstanding Ooh. job, gentlemen. Oh, look at that big sucker, Terry. Der Shoo. They're good. <laughs> 5.12. 5 5.12. All right. Now, can we beat, what was their weight? 15 what? 1670. 17.70. 17.70. Hey, that was close. <laughs> that was close. There we go. go. That's, That's a bag of fish, boys. Yeah, That's it. That's a bag of fish. That's good close. We count. the winners. <laughs> That's just fun to do. This is what we're missing. Didn't we say the winners buy lunch? Is that how that works? Winners buy lunch. <laughs> Goodbye. There they go.